Welcome back, peeps, to Mind Over Matter. And I am here with a quick Dollar Tree haul. This one's a little bit different. I've got a kind of a modge podge going on as far as things that I needed at the house, things that I needed for my daughter, and I also picked up a few things for my classroom. So I just put them all together. So I'm going to get right to it. That way I can put a bunch of the stuff away. The first thing I'm going to haul is the turkey bacon. Now, I know a lot of people are very skeptical about some of the foods that they find at the Dollar Tree, uh, especially in the frozen food section, but there are really great name brand things at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to talk to you about some of those name brand things in just a minute. But I, um, Jenny, oh, you can find that anywhere, Publix, Walmart, any grocery store that you go to. And this is the turkey bacon and the expiration date is August 3rd. And these three packs will go before August 3rd, believe me. Um, and right now it's the 23rd of June. So we've got another month and a half, two months, actually a month and a half or so that we can, um, go through our bacon. So, and I freeze it. And it is really delicious. We I've bought this before and I absolutely love it. And we love it actually over some salad. So I'll cook up a few pieces and then um, chop them up real fine and throw them on top of salads or we'll have it with our breakfast. So it is a really good buy. And there's about 10 slices of turkey bacon within each pack. And they're not very big packs. I mean, if you can see, it's a very thin pack. It's just perfect for like say a college student or um, someone who's living on their own um, and they don't need very much. That's a perfect size. And so it's just my daughter and my sister and I, we're all roommates. So this works out really well for breakfast on Sundays, mostly for breakfast on Sundays. Um, the next food item that we purchased, and here's another name brand, Jif to go There's only three cups, sorry for the glare. Uh, there's only three cups in this particular package and you could probably find this at Walmart or any other grocery store and you get six to eight cups. But if you think about it and you round all these up, if I were to get three of these, that would give me nine cups of this peanut butter at $3 versus the eight cup for almost four and a half at Walmart or any other grocery store. So either way, it's a good deal. I have a couple of these in my cupboard and I just picked up another box to keep adding to what we have and then um, rotate as we go get the the ones that are about to expire out of the way and i think there's an expiration date on this best if used by december 29th of 2015 so we have a really good ways to go for this the next item i use i tend to like jellies and things and jams but i love preserves and they have blueberry they have raspberry i think they have peach and then they have the strawberry and this is by uh the mc trader company there's 12 ounces, and this is so, so good. I mean, I can't tell you how delicious this is. And this also has an expiration date, actually, and a shelf life, shelf life all the way up till next December of 2016. So that is, I mean, I love it. We also get hot sauce at the Dollar Tree. They have several different varieties and different kinds. And so um, we pick those up. We have so much, so much of it. But I didn't pick any up this time. Um, I also picked up vegan rice. Every so often we want a different kind of side dish. So I picked up this yellow rice. And sometimes there's really good deals at your grocery stores and these smaller packages. This is enough for like three people or so, three or four servings. Um, it's the nine ounce package of yellow rice. And it usually runs anywhere between 88 and 99 cents depending on where you buy it. But for the convenience of having it right there in front of me, I picked two packets up. And just gonna throw them into the pantry and just rotate out the older ones or the yeah the older ones that are in there so that I could put the newer ones in and just keep adding to what we need okay so I'm gonna start on this end there are uh, quite a few youtubers that are hauling a few of these um, cleaning products and I didn't particularly like some of them that, that were on the shelf but this one actually drew my attention if you look really close it's the streak free window clean and it's a vinegar formula. So this is what I liked about it. Um, it's a little more natural than all the other junky stuff that comes in cleaning products. So I thought I'd give it a try. I'm trying to go a little bit more natural with the things that I use in the house to clean with. Um, 
just because we have pets and they, you know, they walk all over the tile floors and they tend to lick their paws and things like that. So, and that goes into their system. So I'm trying to go a little more cleaner as far as what we use in the house. So I thought this would be neat. And even though this is just like for countertops and the windows and the mirrors, you know, this is a better route. So I'm going to look into possibly looking into the awesome brand, which is right here. Um, and seeing if there are other things like for the floor and other types of things we can use in the house. All right. The palm olive. I love it because I usually get coupons in the mail. I can get them on off of uh, coupons.com and there was an actual 25 set off any 12 ounce or larger. So I was able to pick this one up. Sometimes I'm not able to use the coupon because it'll say 25 two ounce or 24 ounce. So this one actually fits the bill, 12.6 fluid ounces. So I was able to get 25 cents off of this. So I only paid 75 cents for the dish soap. And I have a bigger dish soap that I purchased at Walmart that was on sale already. So I just picked this up as a backup um, as we get closer to the end of the one we have in the kitchen. The Airwick, I love, they had so many varieties, but I tend to like two in particular. I like this one and this one is called Fresh Waters and it's just the deodorizer and we keep one in each bathroom and I love the apple cinnamon medley. It just kind of reminds me that fall is not too far away. I know summer just started but fall is my favorite season so never too early to get that scent in the house and I actually had an, a coupon that I had I think a friend of mine gave it to me. She doesn't use the Airwick, she uses Glade. And um, if you bought two, you get a dollar off of two. So I was able to use that coupon towards these two, making one of these free. Then I also had 50 cent coupons off of Gain. So each of these were 50 cents, making my purchase a dollar. So basically buy one, get one free. I also had some coupons, um, and I believe they're in two papers ago for Colgate. And there was um, a dollar off of two and 50 cents off of one. And it actually had to fit the bill. It had to be bigger, I believe, than 2.4 ounces. Sometimes those coupons are really tricky. You have to really read the fine print. So sometimes they don't let you use travel, buy travel size or um, anything smaller or anything in between. So luckily these fit the bill and I was able to get 2.8 well, this is 2.8 and I think the cutoff was a 2.4. You could not purchase or use the coupon for anything less than 2.4, I believe. So I bought three. So I ended up buying two um, and got them for a dollar. So I basically got a dollar off of buying two. So one of them was free and this was 50 cents. So I got all three for a dollar 50. And then we were really needing a new brush. We have a Brillo kind of brush similar to this, but it has the stainless steel at the bottom um, or the steel wool at the bottom to be able to scrub the pans with, but we needed something for the cups and dishes that didn't require such a rough scruff. So these were a dollar, picked that up. And I love that little top part right here for those really hard to reach sections of you know, doing your dishes. Okay. And then the next thing I was able to purchase is more along the beauty and care. And my daughter uh, works for a restaurant. She has to wear non-slip shoes. And the shoes don't give you a lot of room to wear thicker socks. So she needs to wear some trouser socks. And these are one size fits all. She loves them. And the great part is that if she gets a run in them, they're very thin. They're kind of like, they're in between like a pantyhose type of material and a little thicker than like say a dress sock so it's perfect it's very airy and if it gets a hole in it oh well we've tossed it it was a dollar we go get another one so I keep up on these I just bought her three and then I got her two more since they were um they had just stocked up at the Dollar Tree so anytime they stock up I pick up at least a couple pair so that she has them as a backup and then the last few things I picked up this time around I am going into second grade as most of you know and I have decided to change my classroom theme to superheroes and so I picked these up I've seen so many wonderful things on Pinterest online googling a bunch of um, images to see what exactly I'd like to hang in the classroom above each of the groups the way I set up my desks I put them in groups of four so I wanted something really neat and I'm not I'm kind of torn between having paper, tissue paper puffs 
above the desks or paper lanterns and turning those into superheroes. And I'll show you that in another uh, DIY. But this has two in a pack. And it is by, it doesn't really say who the company is. So, but these is what, this is what they look like. And this is in the, it looks pink in the camera, but it's really red. So I picked up the superhero colors and I picked up the yellow. And then I picked up the blue and the blue, I mean, the pictures really don't do it justice, but um, I picked up the blue and I like these. And if I don't use them particularly over my desks, then I will probably use them either in the book corner or hanging above the computer station. I'll figure out as we go. Okay. So I picked up these pens. Um, I hauled these in the last video that I posted. My daughter and I are going to be doing the DIY for the flower pens this weekend. So keep an eye out for that video. So I picked up another package because I went the last time and they only had one and they just restocked and believe it or not, they already have back to school items in a certain section of the Dollar Tree. I could not believe it. And that's a teacher's dream. Once those things start coming out, it is time to stock up and start getting ready, even though it's way early in the summer and we have like six weeks left, it's never too early to get prepared. All right, and the last item I picked up, this was actually hauled by a YouTuber and I could not believe it. I had actually walked by these, never paid any mind. It's by the Jot Company and they're permanent markers and they're very thin. And I know one of my teacher friends is going to flip out. She's probably going to go get her own set, but it's a very thin, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it focuses. Yep. It's a very thin permanent marker. Perfect for uh, writing notes in binders, um, labeling things, just having something to write notes with. And, um, just just so many things you can use with it but I love the bright colors and I'm always looking for something that's going to stand out in my student binders when I write notes home for any particular reason so I like that these are fine they're dark but they're also fine tip and I can write in their binders with it so that's about it guys that is my haul for this time around um quite an eclectic little uh, shopping spree here. I actually went in there and my, you know, my mindset was to go in there and get lots of cleaning products. And then I realized when I made my little list before going to the Dollar Tree that I had enough in the house. And the only few things that I needed were these things. And then I picked up some odds and ends as I was there. And I was really excited that they had stocked up on turkey bacon because it's very, you can find it at the beginning of the month or even towards the end of the month, depending on the stock that they get. But if you get it and you see it, if it, if they get it in and you see it, grab you some turkey bacon. I promise you, you will absolutely love it. It's delicious. And um, hmm, in the comments, leave me a uh, little message and tell me what is your favorite cleaning product? Is it something that you buy at the Dollar Tree? Is there something in, in the haul today that maybe sparked your interest and you might want to try it like this? I am so excited about this and I will actually do a product review when I um, start using it and let you know how this works and what the smell is like and um, see how clean my mirrors are. So leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what was your favorite thing about this haul. What are your favorite cleaning products? Are they from the Dollar Tree? Do you coupon? Do you use them at the Dollar Tree? Let me know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.